surprised we made it this far but welcome back all there the listeners go. we have a really big opening kickoff um you guys introduce yourself i know you're new to the show hi, hi i'm chuck bush i uh, just joined the show bush. yeah bush well, the other bush brother the other yeah. other bush brother <laughs> not the other the other the other other other, yeah. other. Yeah. other. yeah kim's here kim's here. here too kim decided to come back we had to pay her a lot more money <laughs> to come back but just touch and go there for a little bit with kim <laughs> you yeah. twist my yeah. arm yeah and we have a special guest we have two special guests today and uh nate bargetzi's here yeah. um hey Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome. I, I'll be honest with you. I don't know if this is even being recorded. <laughs> I don't know. Like, f- there's, there's a good chance that we'll leave. Hey, where's that podcast? And you're like, ah, oh, we weren't even doing any of that. It was uh, all for all. show. Yeah. We just like to sit in here with microphones on and just talk. Pretend. Yeah. It's and just, really for it's, Ryan. None of it's know. connected. Yeah. 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 Nothing's connected. Actually, we're going to be sitting here and we're going to be talking, but they're going to cut all the audio out and <laughs> yeah. then we dub over <laughs> yeah. Yeah. the audio. So we can pretty much say... Whatever like, make uh, you Japan, say whatever yeah. you Japanese want. Japanese movies, yeah. Like yeah. The yeah. Old school. Oh yeah. yeah. Bad lip reading is really the whole point of this podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The old Japanese game shows uh-huh. where they lip over that stuff. Or it like, doesn't great. sync up right yeah. either. And we have the Josh Christina band here. So Woo! hey guys, yeah, hey. how's it going? We got some musical guests. Musical and, uh, guests. It's it's like we've got like a full on like real variety. We're show. actually a real show. Yeah. yeah. This is all a shell of a company. It's you should have done more. like an opening monologue. Like, st- hi guys, Ryan Blaney here. You know, what a week. <laughs> <laughs> How about airplane food nowadays? But yeah. uh, so the band, you guys were last minute. Our producer, I guess, saw you guys last night and uh, <laughs> somehow got you here. <laughs> here we are. Very last minute. <laughs> and somehow sold you on the idea that. This was going to be fun, which it is going to be. I'll Just kidding. There's <laughs> I talked to that guy over there uh, yeah. behind the camera. Uh, we're just the talent. We just, uh, well, use those talent. You are the loosely. first band we've ever had on the show, though. Yeah, so that's we're honored. That's cool. That's true. I was sleeping when I got the text last night that you guys were coming. So that's how late it was. That's how last minute uh, this was. What's that? Uh, probably 10. Oh, that's like that. not late. I was sleeping. I was out. I was passed out. <laughs> It's not too late, but I don't know. Ryan, I, have a, I have a kid nowadays, Ryan so I have to go new, to bed yeah, real early. Yeah, Ryan has become a daddy in the off season. Yeah, I got a dog. You should probably clarify that. A puppy daddy. Yeah, yeah, I got a dog. I would say that my sister just had a kid, her first kid too, and I was debating. Congrats, uh, Emma and Kate. Yeah, yeah, congrats to them. And um, I was try- I was debating with her that dogs can sometimes, like new puppies, can sometimes be worse than having a baby, as far as you know responsibility, because a baby just won't shit on your floor, like That's dogs true. will. That's Babies true. at least shit in diapers. <laughs> Sometimes. I mean, I, I was babysitting my nephew, and he did, like, pee on the couch. Wow, yeah. It was in the time Whoa. of, like, potty training. Mm. So, <laughs> I, I, like, I asked him, I was like, do you need to go to the bathroom? He's like, no, I'm good. Yeah. And then he comes up and he's like, I had an accident. It's like, I oh, asked sorry. you if you needed to go, and there's this big puddle on the couch. Oh. It's like, yeah, yeah, but with a dog, you, you can't talk to him and be like, hey, don't do that anymore. Right, right. They're not it, is, like, oh, it's okay. very, it is uh, it's unbelievably <laughs> similar. <laughs> yeah. Do you, so have, yeah, do you I, have a I dog a, or kids? Have, we have both. I have a, a <laughs> six-year-old uh, daughter, and and we have a dog. And then, uh, but it's it is unbelievable. It's pretty crazy. Like they're, it's the same thing. I'm if glad you, can you have say a dog, that because you can my, have a, yeah, then you can have a kid. My boyfriend and I have a, a dog, and we get crap from our friends who actually have kids when we complain about having to find like somebody to watch the dog or taking the dog out. They're like, you have no idea. <laughs> like I think it's pretty similar. It's. I think it's somewhat. I don't think it's like far. I mean, obviously, <laughs> there's a lot more pressure, you know, with if a kid. If you're raising a human, as a human yeah. being, you yeah. want it to really pan out. Uh, but <laughs> the with a dog, you know, I mean, it's it's the you know, it's like the NASCAR experience here. It's like probably not like racing, but I drove the car. Like I kind of get it. You know what I mean? <laughs> You can do it's it. like that's how I can that's a, I would compare it. You get okay. a taste, I did the, right? Yeah. yeah, I drove the simulator. Like so, it's like basically it the similar? same thing. It's got to be. I could probably do pretty good. You can take my you job. Know. We got one coming up soon. You could do it. Just you jump in there. Have you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll, I'll watch. Never done it. Daytona's oh. easy, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's just the track that I did. So there's no open. way. Oh, there. Yeah, you're just wide open. You don't lift. Slightly turn the wheel. You can. You're fine. You can be a stunt double. maybe. A stunt double driver for me at Daytona if I can do your <laughs> show tonight. You can do my show tonight. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> do you think you would be <laughs> – yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thanks. 
I needed some uh, relief there. Yeah. I feel like that would be more challenging to do stand up. I don't know. To me, stand up. Driving desk. Uh, uh, stand up to me sounds like one of the hardest. Jo- it always has one of the hardest jobs out there. Because uh, it's one thing to be like funny off the cuff, like here and there. Like some of our podcast is funny, but to like consistently have to like. But you do. You come laughs. up with. You do your material like so. Then you just like learn it, and then like you know how to like do it. It is. Uh, but it's like anything. It's like. Uh, I think uh, you have to be obsessed with it, like you know. So if you try to do any kind of job that's like not a normal thing, you'd have to be you have to be obsessed with it. You have to like want to do it at all cost, and you go up there and you know. Who um, do you test your material on? Like family, like your uh, six-year-old? Yeah, I try it. No, <laughs> like I, I run it by her. She's not a fan, so uh, I do it on. Uh, I do it on stage. I mean, I just do it like during the show. Like uh, I'll tell someone to. Like if I have a joke and like. Uh, I'll tell, uh, I'll run it by someone to see, like sometimes, you know, be like, Hey, is this funny? Or like, I tell a lot of stories so you can, you know, it's like, uh, you just tell this story and then you're, see if it gets laughs and then you take it on stage and try it and, uh, see what happens. That's what's good about doing like long sets when you do like an hour, you just have so much time. And then you can, like, really try stuff and, you know, see if it goes good. Hmm. Sometimes it does. Well, you, might, you might have a handful of people heckling you tonight just because. Just because. Yeah, just you yeah. guys. Yeah. yeah. Just I want to be, I wanna be front row. Are we front row burrows? We're going to bring a boom box with yeah. a laugh track. Yeah. <laughs> we got y'all, y'all last row. Okay. <laughs> we're going to have y'all behind Binoculars. a pole. Yeah. <laughs> I've got, I've got a fail button up at my desk that, like, anytime something goes wrong, I can push and it plays the sad trombone sound. Yeah. Like, wah, wah, wah. Oh, yeah. I can I can bring that that oh, right there. Yeah. yeah, it is. We can bring the band. We need to bring know? the band with yeah. us. Well, I feel like. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like comedy, like stand up comedy, and like performing as a band, trying to like get out there. It's kind of in the same realm because you're putting a lot of your stuff out there, and I feel like with the band, you're trying stuff out each night, right? Oh yeah. 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 So. Mm-hmm. Does your shirt, your shirt have pockets? Well, yeah. Thank that's you. what I, I was See. noticing that. Yeah. Right there. Like, is it a regular shirt? It is a regular shirt. So, I'm a guy. Now I, he's trying to cover them no, up. I'm he's so, very self conscious now about these pockets. I asked him about it. I was like, should I wear it? Because it was hot. In I here. said, I've never seen a so, shirt with pockets. I didn't know. Yeah. I don't. Yeah. I think that's the question. I don't yeah, think that it's is whether you should wear it or not. <laughs> no, I, I've never seen yeah. a shirt so, that did it. To be honest with you, I didn't know you were talking about actual side pockets. I thought yeah. you were talking about no, the, no, no, the, the gap in yeah, his. Oh. No, that's just because of the second third button. That's because I'm fat. Oh, did you do that chest? is not. There is not an undershirt there. That was straight chest hair. Yeah. So I thought yeah. That yeah. He doesn't need it. He's got a pocket. <laughs> this is a jacket and undershirt. This right. is all of it. I was wearing a cardigan earlier. Yeah. And being a hairy man, wearing a cardigan and having... The hair and the shirt, it was too hot. Well, so. I, was, yeah. I was about to say, why do you have a sweater so, underneath your flannel? Well, because I like to layer. <laughs> you know? I like Where to, did you find this? So, being a guy, I don't like to shop. And you know those things where you can, like, pay a certain amount of money and they oh, send like you, like... a truck club. Yeah, they send oh, you yeah, shirts. Like, and huh. you've decided to keep that. I'd keep it. Well, I mean, here's the thing. I, I wear a lot of vests and cardigans, so mm-hmm. generally, this is hidden. Because, like, you know, from here up, it's a nice yeah. shirt. Mm. It's got a collar. It's cool. What would you keep in those pockets? Like snacks? I, you know, maybe. It'd be, it'd be your keys in those pockets. It would just be, be weird. It's just so funny to see a guy walk yeah. in with a, just his shirt. You're like, <laughs> dude, where are your keys at? <laughs> they're in my Like they're just they're right in the front. I've got like a mint of your stomach. stomach. There you go. Yeah. Does so anybody need a mint? Oh, no, I don't right. want that after it's been in your <laughs> shirt pocket. Well, there, there, it depends there's on your, your there's pocket. A pocket. Yeah. There's a lining to the pocket. It's not like it's going straight to skin. Uh, well, do you have any pants that don't have pockets? I Again, pants without pockets are a whole other discussion. There should yeah. never be pants made without pockets. But I know women have pants without pockets. Do you have pants without no. pockets? No, they don't. I don't Why think they yeah, make. He wears all his pockets well, up the top. Yeah. I like he doesn't pockets need, everywhere. He doesn't I like pockets up in the yeah. Yeah, he upper. Yeah, he pockets on his pants if he's got on his shirt. I would have pockets here if I could so I can just walk around and just, you know. No. Just saying. Side pockets, side pockets, everywhere. Pockets, huh. all pockets. Huh. Is it both sides? Yeah, yeah. There's yeah. a pocket over here and a pocket here. I can just yeah. Of, I didn't know. I'd, yeah, yeah. I can just chill for the rest. I guess of the if show. you had really big hands and your hands didn't fit in your jean pockets and you're cold, <laughs> no, that'd be <laughs> put them in your. <laughs> and then you put in your. Shirt that'd be. Pocket. You have to have massive hands. <laughs> Some and I feel do. like those pockets are smaller than jean pockets. I don't know. Unless I don't know. I just feel depends like how skinny your jeans more, are. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. And if you got like big thighs, you yeah. can't really get your hands in. See, the big thighs, pockets. skinny jeans don't ever <laughs> work out. Yeah, ever. You got like the side entry pocket on those. Like, yeah, because the these entry are is funky. I don't like top entry. Yeah, it, they're harder access. More of a side. side well, guy. it makes your yeah. hands weird too. You're like this. 
If they're top injury. Yeah. yeah. We yeah. Should make I don't think I've ever even talk, thought about it. <laughs> <laughs> I've thought about a lot of things. You're going to think about it now. The top, I think. Yeah, like jeans are poppers. generally that, that top entry style. Yeah. 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 It's good pocket talk. You know. Yeah. Talking about wardrobes and stuff, <laughs> I need that, your jacket for next year's banquet because that is a slick jacket. Where'd you get it? I think I got it on the clearance rack. Clearance? Oh, you, that's why you find the best <laughs> stuff. Well, because like a lot of the jackets I wear on stage, nobody you know wears them regularly, so stores get them, and then they just stick them on the clearance rack. Yeah. So you can get like a $400 jacket for like 20 bucks. That's Perfect. great. Yeah. That's yeah, gold mine. Yeah. Clearing tracks. <laughs> yeah. It's great. He's got a bunch of them. Got a bunch? Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. good. A, bunch. <laughs> a rotating jacket. It's actually the Jake, Jake from the uh, Chinese place down the street. <laughs> <laughs> Put some rhinestones on that thing. It'd be good. I don't have any rhinestone jackets. We just had this discussion the other day. We just had this conversation. I have yeah. no rhinestones. No? no? You need to put like a few on. Like that way the light really shines off of them on stage. There we go. We, Be know, great. We've been talking a lot about like clothing options and uh, different ways to wear things. Mm-hmm. And there was a story that we sent around uh, about oh, a restaurant in Paris that oh, has now yeah. closed its doors. It was called, I oh, think, yeah. uh, La Atre- uh, Naturale. Ah Naturale. It was in Paris. It was a clothing optional restaurant. Yeah. Would you ever eat in a clothing optional restaurant? I feel like but it was for the patrons. The right. patrons, the staff, were, the staff was clothed. Were, uh, clothed. were yeah. uh, encouraged to be naked, but the staff was clothed. I would go eat. I would not do it with no clothes on, but I might. You might go watch the <laughs> show. <laughs> <laughs> but the guy, people that are willing to go eat with no clothes on, it ain't gonna be. It's not like the best looking people like yeah. nude beaches like the, it's yeah. never like uh you know it's like, not like dude. opening sports illustrated yeah yeah and you're like dude these girls are unbelievable it is i mean you're like whoo like you get down there and yeah it's brutal it's like not that I, i'm not I mean, you know i go regularly <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well also i would think it would be some somewhat hazardous if you have a really hot soup oh, or yeah. something that is um, yeah. a high temperature and you happen to drop it on yourself and yeah. you are not clothed, that could cause some issues. It's like third degree burns. <laughs> yeah. It's like that lady, lady McDonald's with the coffee, you know. Yeah. Imagine if she didn't have pants on. Yeah. That'd be bad. It'd be real it bad. It was real bad with pants. Yeah. There's yeah. a great yeah. document. You ever watch the Yeah, a about how it, about uh, that. yeah. How it was actually legit, like... Uh, Wait, about there's a the documentary about yeah. the yeah, spilled coffee? Yeah, because it was uh, – it's more legit than you think. Like, it right. was a joke to be like, oh, is it coffee? Yeah. But, like, the coffee was like – they got in trouble a lot for how hot it was. And it's like the temperature was unbelievable. <laughs> like, it was unbelievably hot. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it was like a faulty – and she was, like, older. And, I mean, it almost, like, killed her. Like, uh, yeah. There was, like, skin grafts involved. I will have to find this documentary. Like, yeah. Jeez. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's a documentary. Yeah. It's called what? Hot coffee. Hot coffee. <laughs> yeah. Really? Uh, really? Yeah. HBO. That's a that's a good program. Have you seen <laughs> the documentary X-ray. on Netflix right now? The, There's one the fire the festival? fire festival. I watched that last night. Yeah. I watched it. I watched it last night on the now, did my flight. You yeah. watch it on Netflix because Hulu has one too. I watched Netflix. Like I watched Netflix. Well, the yeah. the Hulu one they actually paid the guy that uh, did it. Uh, so the Netflix one they asked him to be on. Yeah. I forgot what his name was, but the guy that started the, the festival. The main guy. The main guy. The Billy? Billy. 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 Yeah. He did the Hulu. One? He did the Hulu one, and they paid him to do it. He asked, yeah. They asked him to do the Netflix one, and he asked for money, and they said, no. Like, why yeah. Why, why are we going to pay you money. after you scammed all of these people out of money? Huh. It's very okay, so they actually got him talking on the Hulu one. Yeah, yeah. I'm about to check that one it's out. On but yeah, I didn't, I didn't know anything about it. I, honestly, I never heard of the Fire Festival when it happened. It was yeah. in 16 well, or something, Well, I thought it right? was Fry. My Fryer brain was being dyslexic. I, yeah. I don't know if I'm used to seeing Fry. But and without, before it made headlines, and I would just see it in writing. Yeah. My brain was flipping the Y and the R, so I thought it was Fry Festival for like – the entire time until this controversy. Thing of French fries. Yeah, yeah it was it's a fry festival. Yeah, it's French fries from all across the world. Fast yeah. food joints and everything. Yeah, that was that was nuts. I think I, that you could pull off something like that. I didn't know anything about it, and then read more about it. It was like, holy shit. The thing that threw me off was the when they were trying to get the water out of customs. Uh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I haven't seen it. Oh, you haven't seen it yet? I'm gonna have, I'm, I'm, it's on my list to I'm watch. I'm just going to tease that right there okay. because uh, it's a we're going to need you to take one for the team and go get the water. Yeah. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. I have seen, though, where... I don't know if you've been following Ja Rule, but <laughs> when it first was like... When Wait, it, <laughs> I don't know if you've been following Ja Rule. But on but. social media, when it first like fell flat, yeah. he was like, y'all are idiots, whatever. You're not getting your money back to it. And now he's like flip-flopped. And now he's like, I was bamboozled and I had no idea mm, and bet. all this stuff. Yeah, I don't, Is he uh, in the documentary? 
No. no. They don't no. interview. I mean, they, they, they no. have they used to, like a bunch of footage from them being down there. Yeah, it was like a weird – I did a f- weird like uh, – basically like anything uh, – I mean, I've done a bunch of festivals. But I remember, uh, you know, the guy that was like uh, the man. He like managed like In Sync or Backstreet Boys or something. Oh, and went Lou to jail. Pearlman. Yeah, I I submitted to, when I first was starting comedy, and you just think like you're supposed to pay. Like if you ever, if anybody ever listens and starts comedy, don't ever pay to do uh, to do. It's never going to be good. And uh, they, but it was like you you paid to go do this thing, and it was it was going to be in Orlando, and we were flying down, and uh, it was a hurricane. Uh, and so they canceled flights and then like it just they you never got your money it was like an act of God of like well, you're supposed to get something like and they never did and then that dude like went to I think he died but he went to uh, no he got in trouble for it though he, he got in big to, trouble he went for to jail it. for a yeah, while yeah. I thought maybe died in jail yeah I don't know. so <laughs> I was a part of his thing <laughs> so you lost your money I just we, my parents money uh, yeah well I was like we I have to do this <laughs> stupid thing how old were don't you don't do it uh, what is that 42? No. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, I was, I don't know, 24 or 5 or something. I mean, still old enough to, like, probably not do it. But you just think, you know, you don't know. Like, you just, like, yeah, you think, like, I'm supposed to be doing this. and uh, Yeah. But Well, like, watching this stuff, I know you haven't seen it yet, Kim. But oh, I don't care. It, uh, it was unbelievable Ruined. to me how, so how expensive, like, tickets were to get down there. And, and like, it was a week before this festival, and, and all of a sudden people were like, oh, well, how are we getting down there? What's the stuff like? They, they didn't ask months ahead of time. Like They just didn't do their research. That kind of amazed me of how many people so it wasn't fell a scam for, from it. The, well, from yeah. the beginning then? No, I don't think it was a scam from the beginning. I think they initially started out, they wanted to do this, but then they were over – selling what they could actually do. They had an um, island yeah. and all this stuff, and then they, he kept getting moved off islands. Yeah. And uh, he had, like, Pablo Escobar's island, which Oof. cartel stuff. Yeah. You ever watch car- <laughs> cartel stuff? Oh, yeah. is you don't want to mess greatest. with that. Oh, it's, I, I'm, like, well, I'm obsessed just saying, with cartel. It's fun to watch, but I don't think I would ever agree to be like, sure, I'll go on your island. Who yeah, knows? yeah, well, he's not there, obviously. but <laughs> he's, His people he's are, there. though. <laughs> well, that they got kicked off. That's what. That's, yeah. that's yeah, part so of they, the reason. They had his, he used to own that island, and the dude who owns it now, um, when they were using it, they were like, all right, just don't say it was Pablo Escobar's island. Like, the first <laughs> thing they <laughs> did, yeah. don't they mention like, Pablo Escobar. used to be Pablo Escobar's island, You could just said, like, like a drug off. lord. Like, yeah. everybody would have yeah. put two into, like. Yeah. yeah. A Colombian drug lord used to own this island. Yeah. yeah. Who do you think it is? <laughs> I feel like yeah. if you name him, that's kicked asking him just to yeah. get taken in the oh, night. Oh, well, that's, yeah. that's what happened. They, I mean, they just kicked him off. Yeah. I mean, I don't think it's like – Cartel, like, uh, I try to do I, – an idea for a joke, so it's not like it's funny now. But, like, Cartel <laughs> documentaries are, like, the only – like, everything's, like, based on a true story if you watch something. And it's always, like, exaggerated, you know, like in movies. And Cartel stuff is the only thing that's, like – they have to, like, tone it down. Like, Narcos was, like, the real story is way worse yeah. than what – and it's already – Narcos is brutal. Like, they do <laughs> stuff that's brutal. And they're like, yeah, we didn't even show you what really Any happened. Of it. Like, because it's that – like, you know, they're the real deal. I'm a big cartel fan. Just because you guys are cartel <laughs> listeners. I'm trying to join the cartel. <laughs> you guys I think they listeners. should get a comedian and just on their roster. <laughs> would really help with like the PR side of things if you've got yeah, somebody I'll telling come, jokes. I'll talk jokes about like, it. Hey. It softens the blow of, yeah. hey, yeah. we're a cartel. Yeah. We kill people. I can see you going oh, up yeah. to the podium and be like, come on. Come on, guys. Come on. Yeah. We ain't Is doing he coming out? That, like, no, nah, he's not. No one will hear from that guy again. <laughs> but any question, And then just start taking. No one wants to ask questions. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be the easiest judge. You're like, no questions? Cool. All right, moving on. Awesome. You did a little bit of island work yourself. I did. With, and it wasn't necessarily cartel, but it involved... Uh, ah, it's not you know of, but... I didn't uh, actually see the show. Uh, oh, yeah, I, was, I was going... Awesome. I actually asked Chuck yeah. I was like, did you actually get to watch it? No. You were on Magnum P.I. Yeah, I was on that. So, oh, like, there's yeah. some involvement. Was there any drug running in the Magnum P.I. episode? No, no. Okay. Um, unfortunately not. This is when you had your mustache, though, right? I did. So you were hearkening to the days of Tom Selleck. I did, and, and the new Magnum P.I., uh, Jay Hernandez, does not have a mustache. Which so is that's terrible. kind of unfortunate. But, uh, yeah, I, I was on that for, like, 15 seconds, like, okay. really fast. But Did you have a line? I had two. You had two. They were, like, five words each. It was great. Yeah, that's, that's the height of my acting career. <laughs> but uh, it was fun. They filmed it in Hawaii, so they have... Uh, so you got you know, to go out to Hawaii legit. for it? Well, I was already out in, on vacation in Hawaii. Oh, that's right. So I was... Just going from island to island, and then I stopped in Honolulu where they shoot it and just went on my way. So it worked out very well. That was the only way I'd do it. I wasn't going to fly out Which there Which was more challenging for seconds. you, this role or where you had to say something about, didn't you deliver a cake in Logan Lucky? Yeah, Lucky uh, yeah. yeah. Um, 
Or you a security guard? Where, I don't really where, know. Which, what were you? I was a cake delivery boy. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's really Clearly tough you role. have not. <laughs> tough role. I saw Logan uh, Lucky. I, have you I seen did. my INDP? INDP I am page? <laughs> You're on a, you got a DP page? I am. I, IMDb. I, I don't know. IMDb. Uh, IMDb. Yeah. IMDb. Yeah. Internet <laughs> movie <laughs> database, not I am. DP. Yeah. Yeah. Don't yeah. go to that website. DMB. Clear your history after that one. But I don't know. Exactly. What the are we talking about? We don't. No, I don't know. They were both pretty fun. But so let's talk about Josh Christina Band. Where do you guys head off to next? Well, we're wrapping up our little tour. Um, so we came down uh, Sunday from Baltimore, and we played in uh, Richmond, Virginia, and we caught uh, Raleigh, North Carolina. We were in Rocky Mount. We were in Charlotte last night. And now we're heading Where home. Where are you originally from, nice. though? Because I'm trying to place this, this accent. I'm from Baltimore. Are you really? Mm-hmm. But I, I listened to all the old music I grew okay. up on. It kind of stuck. Okay. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> I hate that. <laughs> Do people act th- ask that a lot? Mm-hmm. Like, it's okay. Not the old Baltimore accent where it's like, okay, honey, let's go. Yeah. What are their <laughs> guesses? What are they usually like? Oh, you are you from? Blank? They, they think down south. They'll okay. Do like Tennessee somewhere. Okay. Canada or Pakistan. <laughs> Pakistan. <laughs> <laughs> we are south of the Mason Dixon. So. Yeah. yeah. Okay. How long have you guys been together? Well, I've been together. But <laughs> wait, uh, <laughs> a part of one group, <laughs> a collective band. <laughs> Whoa. Um, that scared me. <laughs> <laughs> that was loud in my ears. <laughs> no, well, I, I've, uh, I've been playing that probably about six, seven years. And then uh, Jack joined the band about three years ago. And Zach joined about two years ago. And then we just got Mike in June. So, nice. Yeah. Nice. Oh, very good. Yeah. Very cool. Well, we're happy to have you guys here. Yeah, thanks for having yeah. us. Thanks for being here. Happy to listen to you guys here soon. And we haven't talked good. about why you're in Charlotte, have we yet, Nate? No. Just hanging out. Yeah, just, <laughs> You're just hanging, hanging out, out playing this, playing some Nintendo. He flew in the NASCAR. You experience. actually came to go to the NASCAR Hall of Fame. Is it yeah, why you I came just to walking Charlotte? Around. We flew I'm trying to do it all. But I bought I, a you special saw, pass. You yeah, can do you it saw all Junior, at the Hall. Though I heard yeah, yeah. when you were walking, I did, and that's what you expect. You know, that's what I expected of the Hall. I just assumed Dell Junior walked around. <laughs> yeah, he's here every uh, Thursday. <laughs> yeah, every Thursday. Thursdays with Dale. You know, he helps you get in the car. He's like, yeah, you want to do this? You know, did he buckle your seatbelt for you? He did. He's a good dude. You know. Yeah, no, I'm at uh, Charlotte Comedy Zone. Uh, awesome. You know, this, I don't know when this is coming out. I'll probably already be gone. But <laughs> Where else are you going on your, like, you're yeah, going to be in Charlotte. I, where are you heading next? Uh, I'll do a, I start a theater tour, February 1 and 2. I go to Minneapolis, uh, or Milwaukee, sure. February 1, Minneapolis, February 2. Both great towns. Yep, and then uh, something else, I don't know, Impractical Joker Cruise. They have a, do you know the Practical Jokers? Oh, yeah, mm-hmm. I love that show. I've never seen that I've show. Never seen that. I got a buddy, Jason Ballmer, huge fan of that show. Yeah, yeah. They're, uh, they do a cruise. Mm-hmm. So we're going on a cruise with a bunch of comics and then those guys. And uh, Where are you cruising to? I don't know. Pablo Escobar's Bahamas island? Yeah. Going to the island. <laughs> I go, it's a, it's a, this kid, it costs me like 10 grand. <laughs> <laughs> this is cool though, right? Don't they? Those guys are cool. Sure. Uh, they, yeah, it's, uh, I don't know, you go to the Bahamas or something. Like you, uh, I don't know. I don't know what anything is. And then, yeah, then after I just stay on tour. So I'm just on, on the road. Now, is uh, the cruise, do just regular people, are they also invited on this yeah, cruise? Yeah, yeah. No, yeah, yeah. If I was just mentioning a vacation, oh. like if I was just like, <laughs> no, it's just me and the Jokers. We're taking a private <laughs> cruise. <laughs> uh, so there's really no reason for me to even mention it. Have but you done this before? Not that cruise. I've done a cruise ship when I first started. Oh, yeah? And it's like I bombed uh, – <laughs> Because, like, they go, like, I did Carnival Cruise, and they, uh, you would have to do five shows, and so, like, you'd be, you'd do 30 minutes each, and toward, if you're, when you get on a cruise ship and you're the back half of the cruise, the people come to multiple shows, and so I was, you know, five years in or four years in, like, of comedy, like, I, I didn't have that much material, I had maybe an hour, <laughs> and so, like, I, I could split two shows up, but the other ones I couldn't, and, uh, I started doing it. It's like 500 people. And I was, I was like, all right, I'm going to just do like a greatest hits. I was like excited. And then I started doing it. And no one's laughing. I was like, were well, y'all, have y'all been in every show? And the, like all 500 were like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I was like, oh, There's my really God. not a lot of things. I have like nothing. Cruises. Yeah, I'm talking to the crowd. Like, I'm not even good at that. Like, I remember I asked the guy in the front row, I was like, what do you do? He was like, uh, he worked in the oil field. Like, he worked on like one of the, the rigs. The rigs. And I like got nothing for him. I'm like, oh, that's cool, man. I'm just moving on to the next guy. <laughs> and like, you know, you're like, I don't know. You can't figure nothing out with a guy that works on an old rig. And it's, oh, that's, all, that's cool, man. Uh, and then uh, I got in the elevator after the show, which is great. You're in the elevator in the ocean. It seems like you've made it. 
And then uh, <laughs> and this guy, and I had like I have my hat on, and uh, the guy is in the elevator talking to someone, and they were like, they just said the comedy show was like, because there's another comic too, and they go, the one comic's great. He goes, that other guy was is not good at all. It's just <laughs> it's just me and him and his wife in the elevator. <laughs> And I just got off on whatever the next floor was. <laughs> and then, I think this messed up. Yeah, it's like they were good here. Uh, so that's fun. That's brutal if you is, bomb. Is, is that the worst bomb you've ever had? Uh, no, I just did a, a, a one two weeks ago. And uh, I say this on – I tell it on stage. Like, uh, it was a corporate. And so we get to do – you know, you get asked to do those. And it was for uh, – in Tampa. And it was a really nice guy, super generous guy. But uh, he was a fan, so he brings me. He's like, oh, my employees, like 600 employees. And then I go and just, like, start doing it. And I'm just, I mean, <laughs> nothing. Unbelievable. Uh, I can talk for an hour in silence. I'm, like, pretty good at it. And uh, so I'm like, golly, this is bad. I get off. Everybody's uh, Hispanic. No one speaks English. <laughs> he, did, he did not. He did not. Uh, that wasn't brought up. He didn't tell me that until I'm done. And he's like, ah, oh, maybe it was because they didn't speak English. English. <laughs> I was like, you think? You think that's what it was? I don't know. I think it's my material, but <laughs> I wouldn't count that as a bomb, man. That's not really that's a bomb. When you're up there, you know? well, it's not it a bomb. Like a it's, bomb. When you're up there, it's a bomb. Like it's, uh, yeah, like Were you I mean, like, as uh, being terrible for letting me know. I just left, dude. People, the guy that drove me and then took me back. He said he asked someone, is the comedy show still going? And he was like, the guy didn't even know what he meant. <laughs> like, that's, I was on stage talking, and he's like, what? Comedian? I've never, they, they were probably, like <laughs> they probably just thought you were like a motivational speaker. And you could have been, oh, been talking about the company. Anything. They had no oh, idea yeah, what you dude. were saying. They have no idea. <laughs> and they're just saying, I talked about the cartel to them. <laughs> <laughs> and they brought up cartel <laughs> that's stuff. That's the only And then all of them are starting to sweat. Yeah. Yeah. Like, oh, what? Geez. Oh, someone in the cartel? We got any cartel members here? I thought you were from the FBI or something <laughs> looking for the drug nobody's Lord. saying anything yeah no uh, one's it was uh yeah oh, you don't always much. bomb like uh I mean now when you do it long enough like bombing just kind of goes it's usually like a problem like something's uh if every like you know you've just done comedy long enough that you're like it, it, the show can be fine it just unless something is going on if if someone's drunk or someone's t you know it's like that kind of stuff is the only Stuff you have to deal with. They yeah. had, I mean, yeah, that's what I think at the beginning. I mean, at the beginning, you're just like, I mean, like, no one cares. I did a show for one guy once. One guy? Yeah, he wouldn't leave. We just <laughs> wanted him to leave. And he was like, no, nah, I want to. He's like, just do the show. And you're like, yeah, dude, we don't want to do the show. Like, he's, act, he's like, no, I don't, like, like, we wanted it. And you're like, no, buddy, you're just here by yourself. So just go so home. You can't really test material on one. No, guy. you really can't. No, yeah. no, you can't. I had, I've had people stand up and take a picture with me once. <laughs> During when I the first show? started, like, in just doing this dumb show, there's four people in the crowd. I mean, we, I started in New York, and uh, you would go up in front of four people regularly. Like six was like exciting. You're like, whoa, <laughs> this is gonna be good. Uh, and I, these two girls just. As I'm like talking, they just stand up next to me, and their boyfriends take a picture, and then they, uh, <laughs> then they, then they sit back down. Don't ask. Just literally, just got up and did it, and like. <laughs> or no, are you the type that you'll use people in your audience as material? Like if no. you see somebody wearing like an outrageous sweater. If it was like uh, people are drawing, like if it, it has to be addressed, I would. I don't, but I don't. I don't. I don't talk to the crowd. I just do my act. I mean, that, that's what you know. You, you that's the way you build it i mean like there's guys that are really good at crowd work uh and you can do it but it's i'd rather just build material and like uh and not have and to just, rely on like yeah I mean, some people, yes i mean sometimes it's fun and, and people like it i know the audience can like it sometimes you go that down that road though and the audience can really like that where you're talking to the crowd and they're like yeah do more of that and then you're you know it's like it's hard to get out of that with the crowd and then mm -hmm. get into material where they're like, no, but go back to like go making fun of us. <laughs> uh, so I don't do it. Uh, I like to just, yeah, I'm a, I just do the show. There's plenty of guys that do it and are good at it, you know. How how few people would y'all play for, or have you played for? Like, what's the smallest show? It like might be book, this. Book it might be, yeah. Book it might be right, right now. Done, I, mean, show. I, I think I've, I've, I'd say probably zero, one or two to zero. I mean, oh, we just came to Charlotte. <laughs> 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 oh no. <laughs> Um, no, I mean, we've done, um, I don't know. I, know I, I think I played a bar one night for, like, one drunk. Yeah. <laughs> are they paying you? Because, like, they're paying you, there's no one there. You're just like, <laughs> well, Yeah, yeah, right, yeah. they just do what you want. still getting paid. It's like a 
paid rehearsal then. Right. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah, but if, yeah. If, if, if it's like a, you know, like a by the door thing and nobody comes in the door, it's kind of like, well. Yeah. You know. Do we even go on at this point? I mean, have you ever not played? I think I've always played. I've I've cut early. I've yeah. stopped early. But I've yeah, or not done go. as long of a set. Yeah. Yeah. That happens sometimes, like with interviews yeah. at the track, <laughs> where it's like, come see yeah, Ryan Blaney, and it's like scheduled right when the gates open. Oh, yeah, there's no one and there. And there's like two people yeah. there listening. It's, <laughs> it's like, like, yeah, come out at 8.30 a.m. on Sunday morning after you've gotten bombed Friday, <laughs> Saturday night and come see his talk. Yeah, no, no one wants to do that. Are you starting to get your uh, schedule for uh, Daytona? Oh, yeah. Like trying to book in when you're getting those interviews and stuff? I don't know. I don't book them in. People tell me when to be where I need to be, and I try to be there. Up, yeah. I try to be there. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, no, that's we're going down there here in a few weeks. Have you uh, have you unveiled your car for Daytona? Nope. Ooh. I just got a photo of it today. Really? But I'm not allowed to share it with anybody. Dang it! I know I got those instructions, but no, when it's is it's, it being unveiled? it's different than they're working on it. Probably in the next week or so. Okay. It's it's a lot. It's different than last year, so that's good. All right. I can say that. I so think that'd be nice. I think we're going to do something down in Daytona. I think we're doing some pod type stuff maybe. I don't know. Oh, yeah. You yeah. should do it while you're some racing night. part of this podcast. That would be pretty great. Well, if we <laughs> yeah, could, if we awesome. could get in like, the you back of the car. It. Yeah. Like, I, I, look. That's we'll, a safety hazard. I know. We'll talk to competition. We'll get some seatbelts. <laughs> look, if they could race a monkey back in the day, I'm sure we can find a way. They race the monkey? Yeah. Jocko Flacco? You, wait. No. Wait. History guy doesn't know about Jocko Flacco. No. Yeah, I think it was Tim or Fonny Flock. I can't remember which which Flock brother it was from uh, Charlotte. If you were making all these names up, I would. I think <laughs> you are. Like if you were, if you're, if you're like none of these are real people. Yeah, it's, yeah. Jocko Flacco sounds yeah. suspiciously made up. Jocko Flacco. Like a Choco Taco? No, it is a monkey. It was a small monkey. Like what? With the capuchin monkeys things, or whatever. The They're the, delicious. What was uh, the Capuchin. monkey from Friends? Friends. Oh, uh, Marcel. Marcel. It's oh, that, it's that kind of monkey. That kind of monkey. Not I'm like not like, like a, a champagne. No, no. But he would put him in the car. He had his own little fire suit on, and uh, he was in a cage in the car. And this is back in, like, the 50s. It was a stunt. So they were only going, like, 80 miles per hour. (laughs) But it got out during one of the races. So The monkey got out? He did it more than once? (laughs) Oh, yeah, yeah. What happened to it? Like a regular thing? I think it was a couple of times, and then there was one time they got out. The monkey got scared. And uh, got out yeah, of the car. So. He got out in the, did he yeah. jump out of the race car? I don't think he jumped out of the, the car. Next day? Uh, didn't survive? This as is what he's as far as I has. know, Jocko uh, we, we survived. Got him, we got him right here. Yeah. Let's <laughs> bring him out. Jocko is we got the monkey today. that's uh, coming oh. in. Play him in, guys. He's an old monkey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it is a real thing. And uh, You looking him up? I am. Because Jocko Flacco. The fastest monkey in the world, Jocko Flacco from Our State Magazine. Hey, they sent a dog into space, so he's got nothing on that dog. Yeah, it they sent a dog ni- or a monkey into space. How fast would they really go back there? Was that? I thought it was a monkey. Yeah, a monkey. Yeah. A monkey. Space, yeah. Yeah. Would they really drive? It was. It, was it 80 miles an hour? Like, are you joking? Back, back in the 50s. Back the 50s, it was like not as fast yeah. as it's on the today. track too. Like 100 would be really fast for them guys back in the day. Yeah, back yeah. in the 50s. I'm trying to see what track it was, but yeah, 1953. Jocko. Jocko Flacco. Flacco. Mm-hmm. I think you're bullshitting. I don't think there's anything up on that page right now. This is uh, Kim. <laughs> you see I'm that? seeing it. He I said they found him in. They found him in an Atlanta pet shop. Off. His computer's Which, off. What <laughs> pet shop <laughs> sell monkeys? Dirt, it, no, it was yeah. a, it was at Hickory. It was, <laughs> it was a dirt, Hickory? dirt track in Hickory. Oh, okay. They yeah, so they're real probably going then. like real slow. Yeah, yeah. But uh, they got him at a pet shop. You used it to be able to buy monkeys at pet shops in Atlanta. Tim Flock coming off of his 1952 dominant season. He won eight of 33 races. In route to the uh, Grand National Points Championship. Ah, nice. His sponsors were, uh, his wins were sputtering as the next uh, season went on. So he's like, you know what? I need to do call. a monkey. Yeah. 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 So he's got to attract yeah. attention. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. I think that's just hilarious that you could buy a monkey at a zoo, that's at, what a, I'm a, pet at a pet store, yeah. store back in the 50s. It was the 50s, man. Well, they stopped it because they were putting them in NASCAR <laughs> cars. That's, that's the only reason they're like, we can't. Market. Now we're not going <laughs> to sell that anymore because these guys don't know how to just have yeah. a monkey properly. Yeah. <laughs> in your house. Now you've actually been. Have you ever been in an actual race you've car? You've, d- you've gone no. to the tracks, right? I've gone to the. I've been. To, yeah, those two. I've been to uh, Indianapolis, uh, the Brickyard, once, and then uh, that was a long time ago. But I've never. I've never sat in a uh, race car. Mm. I've done the pace where they drove drove around. The pace, uh, pace car. You should get in the yeah. car sometime with Ryan. You come out to a race. You can sit in mine. <laughs> you can <laughs> sit in it. Yeah. 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 I'll go. I would. I would love it. Yeah. I would love it. I. Uh, now, uh, are you a guy that likes like adrenaline activities, or are you like? No, I'm not like super fun. I like driving a lot. 
so uh, I'm a, a fan, and then uh, so uh, yeah, like I, I like this, but yeah, I don't know. I'm not like you know. Jumping I don't know if I'm gonna, no. Like, I don't know if I have a really desire to do that. I I don't know. Yeah, I don't think I do anything that's like crazy. Hmm. You know. I got you. Live yeah. on the edge. Perform for one guy. That's my. <laughs> living on the edge. Uh, that's living on the edge for you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Living on the edge. Speaking of driving, you don't said you like it. driving. Can't sing oh yeah, I'm not allowed to sing it. It's just Oscar Mayer is looking. I'm a terrible singer. <laughs> oh, she was just talking that. Okay. Yeah. Terrible yeah. singer. You said you like driving. Well, Oscar Mayer is looking for a new driver of the Wiener Mobile. Yeah. Is that something you consider doing? I've seen doing? it once. Have you ever seen? I mean, you've probably seen it. The Wiener Mobile. Yeah. Came to our school. Yeah. Yeah. I see it every day. I wonder if there's more. Uh, <laughs> Wiener bus. I drove it here. The Wiener train. Uh, That's what I tell tell girls. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're gonna see the Wiener Mobile, and they're like, I don't know what's. <laughs> they don't know. They're like, I don't. I don't know where this is gonna go. <laughs> and then you literally show them the wiener bowl. <laughs> yeah, go in your garage. Actual, and it's yeah, just, and you're like, it's, it's right here. Like, I have it. She's like, it's got oh, Oscar Mayer on the side. All right. Yeah. 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 I saw it in, uh, like, it came to our elementary school or something. I wonder if there's multiple drivers, drivers? Or, or just wiener mobiles. mobiles. Yeah. yeah. There are multiple oh, there ones? Are? That's good. Oh, okay. In case they yeah, wreck the yeah. first one? You would know that, Jack, wouldn't Jack, you? Yeah. Jack, yeah. That'd be a good collector. I wonder if you item. have to pass a certain <laughs> driving test, or if you if you just have a regular license, you can drive the Wiener Mobile. I'm sure, you have to qualify. Or if it has to be like a commercial grade, I would driver's license. That thing's pretty uh, long. I know. Yeah. yeah. You said it, not I me. I think there's. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it says nothing in this article about. Uh, uh, but the applicants should have a four-year degree in public relations, journalism, communication, advertising, or marketing. To drive the to car. To drive the Wienermobile. Because they want to be like yeah. a rep. Yeah. You're going to drive it, yeah. and then you're going to hop out and say, hey, everybody, ask yeah, me about my wieners. Are yes. the hot dogs free? That'd be yeah. good. <laughs> if you are the driver. How, I don't know. How long could you talk about a hot How long could you talk about hot yeah. dogs? Like, well, we get <laughs> shitty like, meat, so we put guys? it in <laughs> and we serve it to people. Tell me more about what, 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 kind, of, what kind of thing you're selling. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, it's a hot dog. It's a hot dog. Well, it's a meat. If you don't know by now, <laughs> meat then I don't. Meat in a casing. You know. Okay, is a hot dog a sandwich, We've or is it a standalone? Or is it its own entity? I think it's its own thing. It's a hot dog. It's own thing. Sandwiches. I was like, well, is a hamburger a sandwich then? No. You would say a hamburger. I would be uncomfortable if someone said it was a sandwich. I've heard like people like, say that. And I think that's people just trying to be uh, jerks. Like you're, they're just <laughs> trying to stand out and they're trying to make you like say something. They're like, no, that's what I always say. Yeah. One of my good friends, he says, well, I like to golf. So uh, he'll say, you know, we'll play a par three. What do you call it? He calls it three par and four <laughs> par and five. And just to be I'm like, dick? no one says that. I go, no one does. I, I, he's not really to be – it's just like it, – it's kind of him, you know. It's like – but it's it's a perfect description of him. He's okay. not really to be mean or, like, trying to get under your skin. It's just what he, he just says the thing. You know, they'll be like, well, that's what they said in 1884 or something. <laughs> and you're like, all right, dude. Yeah, no well, one it's kind of like Canadians. Uh, this is grade nine. I'm going into grade nine. Like, no, you're going to ninth oh, grade. Oh, that's what they oh, say? Yeah. that's interchangeable, yeah. though. I feel like I've heard people say grade eight or eighth grade. Canadians. Or? Uh, <laughs> apparently, I have a lot of Canadian friends then. Well, you also I have no problem with that. <laughs> I have a problem with calling a hot dog a sandwich, but not with that. I have a problem with Canadians. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what, what were we getting yeah, into? That, yeah. <laughs> what were we getting into? I don't remember. Canada. Yeah. Canada. The great northern scourge <laughs> that is maple syrup drenched. I don't know. Uh, You're being put maple <laughs> leaves on everything, okay. playing hockey. Hockey <laughs> and maple syrup. Calling a piece of ham bacon. I don't know. Oh, Canadian yeah. bacon. Yeah. 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 <laughs> well, I would, I would imagine. <laughs> I, don't, I keep Canadian I bacon would, in my yeah, pockets. Yeah, no, I would and, think uh, with your outfit, I would be like, if you told me you're from Canada, I'd believe you. Like, <laughs> yeah, you're like, yeah, dude, we wear pockets. Oh, yeah, we're going across shirts. the border for some French fries yeah. and gravy. Yeah. 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 You look like, some you kind of look like a uh, Canadian. Is it Putin? Putin. Putin. No, <laughs> is that Putin. No, it's Putin. Putin. It's Putin spelled is, Putin. I think it's Putin. It's Putin. <laughs> it's Putin. It's French fries and gravy with some cheese curds. Disgusting. <laughs> Putin lives in Canada? Putin. <laughs> I can see it from my house. Damn anyway. Russians. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. So we're, we're going down that road, and I think that means it might be time to say... Uh, no offense, because we do have a race in Canada. We appreciate all the fans <laughs> that come out to Canadian. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm doing a show in Canada. Tire Motorsports uh, Park. Or in two weeks or something. <laughs> in Vancouver. So, yeah. 
All joking aside, but I, I, and seriously, I'm not a big fan of them. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, all I joking go, aside, Canada sucks. Yeah. We, I'm tuxedo? like, guys, did y'all edit that out and y'all only leave that in? <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, man, they really put me into it. Yeah. I'm putting that on the Canadian soundboard Canadian going forward. We'll put it on the forward. soundboard. Just, uh, he hates. Let's go to Nate. No. Canada Canada Canada's wonderful. Yeah. going to Vancouver, though. Okay. Uh, I've not been to Montreal, Edmonton. I've been to Calgary. Uh, Toronto's hated good. every single place I went to. Yeah. Uh, Winnipeg. Winnipeg was the coldest. It was minus twenty. What's Oof. the What's the vacation spot people go? Where, why would you want to go vacation in the like blizzard? Uh, begins with a B. British no. Columbia. I don't know. That's I don't. Know. What is that? Uh, Banff. That whole corner. Banff. It's Banff. not Banff. Whatever. Banff. I'm not Canadian. Banff. Yeah. Banff. Oh. I don't know. Yeah. Oh. I get confused in the the top corner of Canada. It's like something. <laughs> it's, it's Newfoundland. It's, yeah, yeah. Where's yeah? That's the other way. I thought. That's uh, like uh, west. I c- I don't. N- I do not know my Canadian. Where's someone who so. loves Canada as much as you do, Kim? You don't know much I about it. I have only been to Canada like twice. Okay. So. Do, do they race? You don't race in Canada. Yeah, the trucks do. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. race at Mostport. Yeah. Uh, I don't know like what's right outside, by. right outside Toronto. Yeah. Toronto. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. Toronto's great. Yeah. Mon- yeah. Montreal was one of the when I first went there. It's one of the coolest cities. It's super French. And I didn't realize that. That's why you like it. You're like, oh, it's like I'm in France, yeah. not Canada. That's what. Yeah. <laughs> and they're, uh, they're, yeah. <laughs> they're, I remember their menus. They they gave me a a, a French menu. They have, and when I sit down and rest, and I was like, there's no way. I don't. I don't even sort of look like I would know. For, I don't think I have to talk. I think I can walk into a restaurant. and You're like, this dude doesn't speak. <laughs> he's he's not French. Pardon me, Francais. S'il vous plaît. This guy is not French. French. He's not French. <laughs> That's all pretty good. Alouette. Jean de Alouette. Yeah. I have a, a <laughs> teammate. Jean de uh, He drives Indy cars that are the same team I do, and he's a uh, oh, named Simon Pagano. He looks yeah. just like the French dude from Talladega Nights. Oh yeah. Act, talks just like him. It's pretty hilarious. Like d- identical. Yeah. But. He's an asshole, but I'm just <laughs> joking. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking completely. As most French are, just uh, actually kidding. I'm on that, too. He's no. been great we on like the Pinsky games. Huh? The French. We like the French. I like French fries. Their fries are good. Thing. But uh, anyways, thank you guys for being here. I think we got to wrap up. <laughs> We've been talking about – we're digging a hole <laughs> yeah. in the Canada this territory. Canada. We need to get out of the Canada um, You guys want to play some stuff? Sure, oh, yeah. Christina, man, let's hear it. Let's hear it. You stuck me in the free zone Let me out there all alone Without you to call my own You stuck me in the free zone If all we could be more than this I could be your best Till you could be my best Seems that you got a heart of stone You stuck me in the free zone I've had a thing for you I believe since I turned to a I'm a river running around on the playground with you. So about the time you took for to everything, but it just not seem to me. I'd ask you out, but if believe what came by the my house. Ooh, you stuck me in the prison, let me out there all alone. Without you to call my own, hey, you stuck me in the prison. Now we can be more than this I could be your mister You could be my mister See me, you got a heart of stone You stuck me in the red zone We're long Senior primate You know I had a day And I'm thinking I'd have took faith to You say yes to me Oh, how me I can hardly breathe in the full kiss was shot when you grabbed my lip. You stuck me in the bread zone, left me out there all alone. Without you to call my own, you stuck me in the bread zone. You thought we could be more than this. I could be your best, you could be my best. You seem to got a heart of stone. You stuck me in the bread zone.
by now I be the man of your dreams. But you see, you got a plan for me. Well, I'm moving on. I found somebody new. Wouldn't give her up a second if you asked me to. Because I stuck you in my friend's arms. Now you're out there all on, baby. Without you to call my own. Yeah, hanging like my friend's on. Oh, we could be more than this. I could be your best. Do you give me my best? See me, you're a hot side of stone, baby. Hanging like that friend on back. In 
never forever Don't know what it is This is drawing us closer Could you kiss me when you saw me? Would I hold you in me? Would I kiss you to feel in the stars in your eyes? We can try again tomorrow. See if that passion is there. Just a thing. Slow, baby. Could you kiss me when you're sober? Could I hold you? Could you kiss me when you're sober? Could I kiss you when I'm sober? Who's out just 
dressed up in that sexy attire But you'll make my phone go off I get live wire Listen to me, baby Why don't you make me vibrate no more child? No, no You don't make me vibrate You sign it to educate don't you make your fear vibrate, no, vibrate, no, vibrate, no, no, yeah. My phone ain't ringing, baby. You don't call or text me no more. I miss you, honey. Please call me. Please text me. Josh, Christina, guys, thank you guys for being here. And Nate, we're excited to see you play you. Uh, yeah. perform tonight. So yeah, yeah. See we'll goes. be there. We so. love you, Canada. We'll come with signs. Does yeah. anybody make signs for you? Uh, I've had like a couple people. I have Lottie Paint. Not, or not a big problem. <laughs> yeah. So that'd be good. It's not like an overly. You know, every show people wave them. No, they don't. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a very enthusiastic. Uh, hey, driver, drive yeah. these. <laughs> yeah. And no, we don't get that. No, don't no. Get that. no. I haven't either. We asked for it. That's very, uh, that's very unreal, unrealistic. That's fiction. Them showing. Not a Talladega. Didn't yeah. have yeah. a Talladega? Oh, uh, well, they're ones you don't want to see. Exactly. But, yeah. Uh, it's like the new thing we were talking about. Yeah. It's the people yeah. that are down to do this are not Necessarily what you hope. what you <laughs> yeah. are to, hoping for. To steal a Ron White line. It's like, do you want to see these? Like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. I Put guess. them back up. Yeah. <laughs> But I'm excited. It'll be fun tonight. Do you like yeah. pass out headshots? Is that a thing as a comedian? No, excited? I don't know. Do you, if y'all even know what a show is? So <laughs> y'all are making me nervous. <laughs> that I don't I, like. I don't know if y'all know what stand-up comedy is. I've never like, been to a stand-up comedy. Yeah, I've I watched a lot of Netflix. Is there comedy. tables or what do you guys yeah, do? Do you walk around the restaurant? Do we and all talk stand up? Do we stand up? Yeah. While you're I mean, I <laughs> this could be. I don't. I might not let y'all in. I went to one stand-up show in in New York one time, and I feel like it was a legit one. Like it was down an alleyway. Down this set of scares, like it was yeah. a sketchy kind of place, but it was really Remember real. Remember what it's called? Or? Nah, Tommy Seller? He's probably making this up. So. It would be a no, legit. It, I'm totally the, when was it? You know, it was a few years ago. Can you yeah. give us the exact date? I might have lived date. there. Yeah, I might have been. I, I might have been on that but show. It was hilarious. <laughs> You've actually seen Nate before, and you yeah. don't it was remember. Funny. It. You big, oh yeah, I remember this guy. Someone made fun. The uh, comic made fun of me. They so were that clearly wasn't Nate. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I said North Carolina, and he said I was a redneck. I was like, yeah. there's worse places in North Carolina than a redneck. There's a. New York is a very much ask the crowd because uh, the host will, because everybody's from somewhere else. Yeah. And it's so, but it is funny because when you first go on the road and you're like, so where are you guys from? Like, yes, here. And everybody's like, Charlotte. Like, uh, <laughs> like they're not there. You know, like it doesn't even make sense. But New York is like, every show is like, yeah. where are you guys from? And mm -hmm. everybody's from somewhere else. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah. So. But right. well, we're I'm excited. looking forward to it. Thanks, yeah, everybody, yeah. for uh, listening to season three. Yeah. So should be good. Yes. Stop, you can stop harassing off. us on social media. Congrats now. on making it. Yeah. Season three. We're back. Rate and review on iTunes. Say that. Subscribe. Yeah. All that stuff. Comment on things and all that fun stuff. So yeah. Great. Tell us if you like Chuck's pockets. Yeah. <laughs> and I want to know the brand of that shirt. So I can get you. It's a few weird more. that you keep candy in there. Like you're gonna give it to like a little kid. It's like a very strange vibe right now. <laughs> well, because he, he's learned that the <laughs> parents say don't take it out of jean pockets. <laughs> parents Shirt don't pockets, tell you, and yeah. the kids like, well, it was a shirt pocket. Yeah. Pocket. This is, is okay. Like, yeah. oh, that's way better. Yeah. Yeah. yeah.